This conference will now be recorded. Ah, oh, Jyoti, yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? I'm just application. trying. Application yeah. was this is it? running also. I mean, the table is running. I'll just see what else can I do for this connection. Copy that and paste it in the Google. What does it say? We'll see immediately. Uh, what is that? What is the solution for that? Uh, quick and stack overflow. Let's see. What is he saying? Scroll down. Non transient uh, connection detailed. Uh, okay. Scroll down. They'll give you the answer. Scroll down. Answer. What is that? See? I would try and use a better connection pooling strategy. I created a what is saying. By default, uh, a few words. Uh, there is a minimal configuration. Scroll it down. With this conversation, each connection, connection problem, connection problem. Now, what uh, they're telling you, sure, if you use, I uh, use the dependency also. Use dependency also. Yeah, both two. We have two dependencies, right? Uh, context and JDBC have put both. So what you do is in the form as XML, mysql.jar file, you try to add it. Go open your uh, Google once again. MySQL uh, dependency. MySQL Maven dependency. Maven dependency. Copy and paste it in the form.xml. Say control S. Did we save it? Yeah. It takes some time. It takes <gasps> some time. I wrote. Okay. Yeah. So not able to find out uh, that uh, one. Okay. Dependency. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, fine, Jyoti. Next, we are going to start up with uh, what do you say? Our uh, J, uh, with MVC, we are going to see now. Okay, and tomorrow, if I take uh, the class, will it be okay for you, or do you have any? I mean, anyway, sorry, any... I didn't get you. Tomorrow, if I take the class, is that okay I'm for fine. you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Because uh, on Tuesday, I mean, I have to be available Tuesday, Wednesday. So I would like mm -hmm. to take tomorrow and day after tomorrow, Jyoti. Will that be okay for you? Mm, yeah, I guess it should be fine. That's okay. My friends were just planning a trip outside, but I, I'm just not sure. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. If at all, if it's like this, so tomorrow, what about tomorrow? You are available, right? Tomorrow morning. Oh, yes. You are available. Well, it's Tuesday, I may not be available, Jyoti. That's what it is. Okay. Let me miss it totally. A big mess. Long. I told them I don't want to go out because of Corona and all, but it's a long weekend, so everybody is kind of insisting. 
I can stay, uh, I, I can be that's okay. It's just stay home. in the morning. Stay home, JT. This is not the time to go and have fun. Uh, <laughs> stay home, safe home. We are uh, in India, we are completely avoiding going out safe and all. Right. So today we would like to discuss about the Spring MVC framework. Mm -hmm. Very important topic. And after that, I'm gonna discuss with you Spring RESTful services. Spring oh my, MVC. Yeah, I see. I see so much RESTful API on, you know, requirements in the job. Yeah. Now the basic level and the advanced level. Spring MVC, if you got to know, your 60% uh, of judge, uh, I mean, Spring has completed. The main here is we have to know Spring MVC. 25 easy steps. Controller. Oh, whoa. 25, 26 steps. Stepwise details. Configure what is that? Stepwise details to log in just when dispatches will not use log for change. Show user ID password welcome 2020 2020 tips step one. A few steps very copy code <laughs> in we would not uh, 28 minutes to ensure that uh, you have lawyer running web application without any system. Okay, he's working with the form. Okay, he has given more 20 I means there are some from the GitHub repository. GitHub, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use GitHub. GitHub he has given some application. Let's see, have a look. Mm, what is this? Okay, then this your what else return at all services? Welcome file login dot two. When I say login dot two, when I click on that, where it takes me, what I have here. I have job okay. Step one, ninety nine percent of video one, updating with bit headings, ninety nine percent. One percent is what? I'm watching some. This required or not? Okay, just delete. Java deep point we can go with. So, but that is regular. Apart from that, I would like to teach you the latest things. That's what I was looking for. Okay. General there we can go for it. General there is also fine, but let's see. Spring MVC web. Uh, where is that web one? Dinesh on Java. Java we have started Spring MVC Spring three. This is Spring three. We need. Java guides, okay, fine. Java guides is also fine. Java guides, validum, validum, Java forest, and these are the one of the most important. Spring MVC, hope has given the advance. How to how to do in Java, all these things. Right, perfect. So now coming to the point, let us talk uh, one by one uh, uh, things. Why this is coming up? Yeah. Share something. Options. Remote control. Drawing tools. Okay. 
let's minimize this as minimize this right so spring mvc 20 admission we don't require journal there mm. okay spring mvc tutorial of for spring mvc tutorial deployment description configuration by spring model classes spring view pages example This STS I come later. Developing a Spring 3 framework application. So, best of all, this is Java Pegas. Spring framework. Any other database. Application to be developed. Application setting. Conveyor web direction. Define dispatch as a little into dispatch. Create a application context. Create a bin class. Create a controller class. Create the view. And what else? Call the DO layer or this is coming up with the database. This guy, our location source card. I don't need this. This. Spring, Spring Boot, uh, Spring MVC documentation. Web on solid stock, Spring Web MVC. Yeah, context. Generated controllers, HTTP 1.8 web security, MVC con pressed contract lines, dispatcher submit, flash map or cooking, the following cookie reservoir themes, HTTP caching, REST clients, Spring MVC with REST. Web MVC, root web application context service, but we don't find the code anywhere. Exceptions 5.2.7. This is the latest version. Dispatches are like direct to type. Dispatches are like okay, then the latest version we are configuring directly. Web app. Context sign up again. Special bean type. Well, let me say one moment. Mm -hmm. How about study tonight? Study tonight. Yeah, that's a website name. <laughs> okay. Okay, is it Java related? Yeah. It's like tutorials point. Tutorial point is not good actually. Mm. But, mm. Spring MVC execution flow diagram, Spring MVC 3.2. Let's see how about Spring MVC, how to make validations in mass Spring MVC annotation, validation data, Spring MVC annotation, bean validation, validate example. What is more than this? Data source using JJ. Spring boot, Spring MVC, hello world, Spring hello world example in Eclipse. Let's set it. Yeah, so here we'll have, we'll see this is fine. We are starting up with the, the three third version, and then we'll go ahead with the five version. What are the how you develop a Spring MVC? So basically, MVC stands for Model View Controller. Mm -hmm. You remember of it, right? 
model view control and control. model stands for your actual pojo class let's say employee or a student or any any other class which contains only searches and getters that is model and view means your jsp page or your html page model view and controller 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 will be acting as a mediator in between the model and view so that is how you have to develop a real time applications Jyoti, are you getting me mm -hmm. It's kind of stuck. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Now. Can you hear me? There is some network issue. I didn't see the wire got disturbed. No okay. Yeah. Okay, Jyoti. So no, I'm I saying just left it, uh, MVC mediator controller. Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, the seven parts. The seven parts we are going to see now one by one. First, the request will be if I open my web page. Okay, I have some application which I have deployed it in the server. 
when I deploy it in the server, what I'll be going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to give the request. I'm going to give the request. Okay. So when I give the request, so there is, there is one mediator that is called a dispatch servlet. Who is that? Dispatch servlet. For everything, he will come in contact. Who will come in contact? Dispatcher servlet. Dispatcher servlet will come into contact. Why he will come into contact? Because he's the he, for the Spring Web application. They made mandatory one person for MVC application. That is dispatcher servlet. Without so it should act like a controller. Yeah, yeah, it's main controller. We call it as main controller. We have separate controllers, but your dispatcher servlet is called as a main controller or friend controller. What do we call? Your dispatcher main. servlet is called as a main controller or friend controller. So dispatcher servlet uh, will take the help of a uh, handler mapping. Now what it will do is there is some class called handler mapping. Will take the help of handler mapping and uh, getting to know which controller it has to go getting to know which, to which controller it has to go are you getting me joking mm -hmm. what does the handler mapping does it takes um, sorry the dispatcher server takes help of handler mapping and it tells which controller class it should go i mean there will be many controller classes so handler map will help us get to the right controller class each time right 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 Good. so it will find a controller. It will find controller. That means controllers also many. Yeah. So when you when you when you are developing a web application, we have an uh, employee. We have. Uh, can you can you exactly tell controller examples more like are those jar files or are those XML no, files? That's what I'm telling you, Jyoti. One minute. Okay. So we have employee class. Employee is a model class. Admin is a one model class and uh, uh, some other uh, some other department like uh, some healthcare uh, health management is another department all these departments i would like to have a different controller so controller is just class it's a java class which, which is a class only are you getting me mm -hmm. it is a class only so it tells that for any given request, uh, dispatcher servlet will come into the contact and it will go. If I have given a request to the employee, this dispatcher servlet uh, with the help of handler mapping, it goes to that uh, employee controller. For an employee, I have employee controller. It goes to employee controller. For the dispatcher, uh, if I give a second request uh, to an admin, so uh, from the dispatcher servlet will take to the admin controller. With the help of the admin controller, it will go to that particular admin model. So before reaching to my model, it has to go to the controller. What is this controller? It is a class. Class so with JDBC connections? No, no, this is different. It is MVC part, just forget about JDBC. Okay, JDBC different database that is backend. We don't okay. have any. Yeah, so so can, can I say the controller has the actual class which is doing the business logic? Y yes, yes, correct. Okay, okay. the business yeah. logic part will take. Yeah. Like that, we have controllers, uh, many controller classes will be, but the dispatcher servlet is only one which is going to act as a front controller. Okay. So this dispatcher servlet is responsible to communicate uh, uh, or to deliver it to which controller it has to go. And so request a transfer to the controller and then and then what will happen is and then it will process the request by executing appropriate methods. It has some methods 
it will uh, execute the methods and in return it will collect an object that is model and view object this is uh, in the three and uh, in the five we have some other ways that it returns a model and view object that returned a model and view object returned model and view object contains your model and also your view your model data that means model means your employee data associated we are binding some data with the form that data and to which page it has to go the view name model and view is nothing but model is nothing but the data view is nothing but the, the to which page it has to go that view name back to the back to whom it will give again dispatches are let first request will be taken by the dispatcher alert mm -hmm. and the dispatcher alert will uh, find out the controller with the help of handler mapping and then that uh, controller will return me an object that is an model and view object which contains a model as a data and uh, which contains uh, the view name that means i have five jsp pages so which page it has to go that page information also your model and view object contains your model contains the data and also it contains the view page which it has to display that data make sense mm -hmm. i am giving a request how do i give from the form i have a form login form when i give the credentials and when i sign in or submit then my server dispatcher alert will come into existence this dispatcher alert will go to the employee controller and then employee controller has a uh, to bind uh, this form data to the employee model class employees mem model class it will bind that data and this binded data from the form to that class to the employee class this data should be printed on any other particular page are you getting me any mm -hmm. other particular page means any other view page view is nothing but a jsp so it is going to take to the jsp page so when it is going to that uh, the page name the page name has to be given to which page uh, it has to give so that means that information will be held by this object so that means controller in return will get a model and view are you getting me that's fine and then back to the dispatcher servlet now dispatcher servlet sends uh, the model object to the view resolver so it will there is one other person it got view information and model information now what it will do is with this information dispatcher servlet uh, send the model object to the view resolver there is a class called view resolver so this class it will contain all views information it will send the model object to the view saying that hey i have some particular model so and this uh, this uh, and uh, this model you need to add up to the page called view page this is my view page i okay they have given a model that model object i want to bind it to the view so for that i need your help who's that help view resolver so this view resolver what it does you know the contained model it will uh, it will set to it it it's been set already so it sets the view and it returns that particular view page and it returns mm -hmm. that particular the view, view already has jsp pages on all it doesn't require any additional drivers to make it get visible like view resolver and all should not be required no no, no. view resolver is required i have 100 jsp pages so which jsp page i need to pick xml will say so in the xml how xml knows that task we are giving it to one person okay. who's that person this, mm -hmm. person, this person is responsible this this person what he will do how do we how do you will get it he needs some other person a dispatcher server that means he is not the person everything he go he would like to do we would like to make it independent and we would like to keep a monitor our monitor is dispatcher servlet independent things is model and view and a controller is main person which is going to act for that for that module i may have a number of modules so for that module my controller is this for the entire application my controller is dispatcher servlet so dispatcher servlet is called 
main controller or front controller make sense So how to configure cache in this movie? That's the difference. Interior purpose. I'll explain here the people for the first time. Where is the first example, man? Spring MSC. Tag of execution. Dispatch is a printer. Special result to that set. It's a very part. Right, if you want to stick that. Okay, here we go. There you go. So you can see um, we are going to create a project that is what you have to create dynamic web project. Mm -hmm. But when you are creating a uh, spring project, MVC for with the Maven means. Then you have to start web. What do you have to create? Yoti. We have to create a I can't do Maven. Huh? I can't do Maven. You can't do Maven. Okay. I didn't get you. You can't do. Why? Because may we need to add some or the other jar files at some point. Ah, that's the reason we are working with Maven Jyoti. Yeah, but I was just asking we can use Maven project or dynamic project. Okay, okay. I, I understood your question. Maven is something, it's a tool to develop a static project or to develop a dynamic project. No, by using a Maven, I'm developing a dynamic project. Okay. If I don't use a Maven, you have to manually develop in the Eclipse, you have to manually select static project or you have to select a dynamic project are you getting me mm -hmm. you have to create a static project or you have to select a dynamic project but if you are going with the maven you can create maven uh, project also with the uh, that one so how do you create a maven dynamic project previously we have created a quick start quick start means it's a static a standalone project which doesn't need any server. But uh, this one, what you are creating is Maven with the dynamic project. To create that, how to, to create, we'll see now. Mm -hmm. What happened to this? New project other, let's say. Let me say Maven and in this Maven project. Next. So here we have to select our quick start, quick start mode, web. What is that? Archetype should be web, I have to say. This one. So write it as yeah, Maven. Is, yeah, yeah, that is oh that is quick start we are going, I guess. Are you getting me? If I write that, it will create me now web project. Are you getting me, Jyoti? Yeah. Now I have to give Spring MBC. Maven app. Spring MVC Maven app. Com dot Maven something. Com dot MVC.
I got created my own project. What is that? Spring MVC Maven app. Yeah, this. One. If I create that one, it's not nothing but it's just. A, but uh, I need to make it as a Spring based application. For that, I need to add some some jar file. It's setting up. Taking time, time, time. It's building all the things. Let's go in the form.xml. I need to configure add independence. I'm sorry, yeah, dependencies. Spring web dependency. Take too much time. The system got slow. So what is the dependency we need to add for the spring context is required and mm -hmm. spring web. Okay, we'll find it out now. I think I already have it here in my previous project. It's a Maven project only. Let me open the spring Maven. From the previous application I'm taking. I already have dependencies. Let me copy and paste it. Okay, WebMVC. Control C. And what else we have? Context. I need it. Uh, Tomcat. Tomcat also. Servlet API. These are the dependencies. Servlet uh, jar file. I need it. Servlet API. Tom Jasper. And uh, three dependencies. Okay, Jyoti, are you hearing me? Okay. I'm adding WebMVC, Servlet API, and uh, JSP API. It's not required in anyway, but still I'm adding. Spring MVC from the previous application I've added. So when you have added, Control S, so the changes will be getting affected to your application mm -hmm. in a short span of time. Let's see the dependency now. Where is dependencies? Java resources. Click on that. Oh, where is that libraries? And here you got my own dependencies. Got it. We all got all the dependencies. That's fine. Our application is ready now. So what now. all did we add in the dependencies? It's WebMVC, Tomcat, and Spring Context. Oh. Servlet API and uh, a Tomcat and WebMVC. Okay. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. So now 
we got all the dependencies now we have to develop an application so this is what we are working on so here he is creating dynamic web project manually without uh, this thing and all okay so we are going to create a form required fields java forest controller uh, welcome page welcome page dot gsp so here we are going to have a one jsp page that might be index.jsp and in the jsp what i'm writing is i'm creating a, a form it's not a form i think it's font size okay we are creating an anchor tag yeah think that uh, when you click on that it's going to take me to the the, the html page java HTML. yeah that's taking for us but we do i have that page anywhere i don't have that page so what it is this for me then that is a url for me what is that i'll tell you one moment i have index.jsp page i'm opening by default you'll be getting an empty page okay Jati, so we will write uh, an anchor tag anchor tag something i'll type it different welcome mm -hmm. not html something like that all right um right and if i want to click it i need to have some text over here mm -hmm. Next is click here. Is my text. So by default, when I run the entire application, it takes me to the page index.jsp. And over there I have a uh, just click here. That's it. Mm It says that welcome to spring mvc and click here when i run this application so what it has to do now that's a task when i click i want it to take it uh, the default uh, page that is default uh, for the entire web application the heart is web.xml i want to take it here so what i would like to do is in the web.xml i have to configure i, I was talking about a uh, front controller front controller that front controller is your Dispatch. Are you getting me, Jyoti? Mm -hmm. Where is uh, as it is a servlet? Dispatch servlet is nothing but it's a servlet. So I need to configure it as a servlet only. We know okay. previously we were talking about servlets. So the dispatch servlet, if I want to configure, I have to configure it as a servlet. No, for what request it is going to map? That's what I'm saying. That for any dummy request, any empty faggy means for any request. By default, it takes me to the welcome.js index.jsp. I don't need to write it also. Eclipse, if you create any project, by default, your welcome page will be that one. But when I click on that uh, in that welcome page, if I say click here, it's so it is going to take me to as it is a spring application, it understood. It understood and it says that okay, for any URL, he's asking me to this servlet. Which servlet? Dispatch your servlet. Who is this dispatcher servlet? Dispatcher servlet is a person, I mean, is a class, so which will be taking care of our entire spring based application. So that means it is not a I defined or you defined, it's a predefined. What do you say, Jyoti? It's a predefined class. So let us configure. So we are selling. Oh, Where sorry. did that handler mapping? I mean, dispatcher servlet is there, but dispatcher servlet directly won't work, right? It goes through handler mapping and all. I was thinking. Right, right, right. For any request, we are going it to the uh, dispatcher servlet now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it will also come to the right. Okay. So Maybe this dispatcher servlet handler mapping. We don't have specifically class internally. It it goes. How it does? How it goes? I'll let you know. So we have done with the form and we have done with the our uh, 
web.xml now what is the le leftover part i need to create a controller class controller okay dispatches are let after who needs controller we need we need a model class are you getting me yeah and we need view page we, we need a view oh yeah view. you welcome also we have to configure right Ah, oh, that page. I mean, I need but a return. If you didn't configure it, it gives you a blank page right now because in the URL pattern you have just given a slash. Coming in, what did you say, Jyoti? Uh, in the view page, the index.jsp is not sufficient. I mean, index.jsp can be considered as a view page, but when you click on the click here button, it it needs to go to a welcome page which we didn't create so it will uh, since url pattern you have just given a forward slash it will take us to some you know default page or blank page it, it goes to the dispatcher alert it will communicate for any request dispatcher alert will come into contact now this dispatcher alert will go where it will go for for that what we have to do we need uh, this handler map this handler mapping is a file it maps all the things okay it's an xml file we don't have separately the things i'm going to create for a web application for a spring if you are working with the spring also you need a spring is a technology so we need a framework we need a separate xml file for web application also i need an xml file where do i where do i have to keep that xml file XML file I need to keep inside web Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. For a Spring MVC, for an entire web application, I got one thing. To configure my XML beans or controllers uh, about my Spring, I need an XML file. So where do I configure inside the web app? I need to create an XML file. That is uh, probably spring hyphen sublet dot xml spring hyphen mvc dot xml any name i can create it that's come on are you getting me Jyoti? yeah so this xml file will act as a mediator this is going to be your handler mapping handler mapping is not a class it is a mapping your XML file is a mapper. Dispatches are lit. If I say it immediately check for that uh, related XML files. It goes to there. It goes over there. So the XML file is I'm writing it as spring hyphen. Okay, uh, something any name I can write is spring hyphen mvc dot XML file. Something like that. I think servlet is required. That's also uh, spring happen. Any name I can give. Let me see hyphen. Servlet not XML. This is my handler mapping. This is my handler mapping where I'm going to write all the mappings over here. So when I give the request, uh, what will happen is uh, it will come come to this uh, this file first of all. It will directly go to the it will not go to the controller. It's going to the Spring MVC fn submit dot XML. It will go to web and from web to a Spring MVC XML. Yeah, from the web it will go to Spring uh, fn submit dot XML. Here what uh, we are configuring, we are saying that. The base package where my controller is there where we are going to configure our controller in the con the controllers we are going to have in the package Come on. i didn't create a package mm, we did it. where is my package inside source it has to create source main java also why it is it's not created what happened to this Jyoti?
Any idea? I remember we created Spring now. Let's update it. Let's see. SRC main Java should come, but why is not giving it? Yeah. I have updated in the SRC main Java has to come. Yeah, yes, now main has. No. Yeah, it's okay. okay, that's okay. When it is not created, what we'll do is we'll create a folder saying that new folder. Basically, it has to create. Mm -hmm. Somehow it has not created. I would like to create a folder saying that Java because all the Java files should be there in the SRC main Java. Now there I would like to create my package saying that. Saying that. New package I have to create. Okay, one moment. I would like to go class. What is happening here? Okay, not here. It's not allowed here. Here it will allow one moment. One moment. A new, 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 new package. Yeah. Com dot. Com dot my. No, I created, but it is not right. Okay, this is my package. So I'm going to, I have to give the information saying that, hey, the controllers will be there as part of uh, this base package. Com dot. Well. So this is my controller where uh, this is my component scan. It's going to scan, scan. Hey, where I have to search for the controllers. Hey, okay, I have got some information that uh, that a guy has given me the request is saying that uh, Welcome HTML. With this welcome HTML, I'll go to my dispatcher servlet. Dispatcher servlet says that for any request, you need to contact me. It might be welcome or it might be JSP. Any request he gives. By default, uh, that is welcome. So, dispatcher servlet needs uh, some servlet.xml. That is basically any name with servlet.xml. So, it, uh, that is your handler mapping. So, it will go over there. What happened to this? What happened? It made tower. It split the screen into two. Just getting stuck in a lot of pages. Sometimes it is. Com dot web. So from the web, uh, what it will do is, whatever if I have controller classes, so it goes to the controller class. Oh, I'm going to create one controller. The controller, uh, it may be any name. Uh, we are going to have one controller, Java 4s HM. So I'll create my controller. My class name is my controller. Send you. That's the class. my controller uh, 
I agree on my controller. Regarding mm -hmm. job three. Mm -hmm. My controller is my controller. Okay, but I don't have anything. Okay, base package saying that, okay, go there. But how can I be going to know that it is a controller? Dispatch or letter uh, will check for the controller. So how it will be going to know that it is a controller or not? Annotation. Yes, we need annotation. We need to say, I may have n number of controllers. So which controller I have to go? Now I have only one controller. If I have multiple controllers, I need to write map here. I need, map. I need to write request mapping, but I have only one controller. I don't need it anything. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is this? We need to import some things. Where is this annotation available in the app to import that? The packages you need to import. Yeah, yeah. And now we'll write the code. What we are saying request mapping for any request. Yeah, so here I'm saying that welcome because uh, the request is in my JSP at uh, the request is welcome only, no? In the, yeah, but we didn't create a welcome.html page. No, that is not, uh, that should be any name. It's not, a, dot .html is also not required. Okay. So that is my URL. So to identify this class, I'm taking just welcome. Anything if I come up with a welcome, so it's going to, it's it, it it's going to come over here. Are you getting me? Okay. So it but is I going was to map. Thinking welcome should be some page or something, you know. So it will it will we are coming it. Okay. URL okay. means it can be any name. It's not compulsory. For understanding purpose, he's giving the page. Okay. But it's not required. It can be any name to identify it. Welcome. Okay. So now what it is going to return is it's going to return a page model and view object as I told you. So it's available in that servlet. Okay. Import that one also. Finished. Now what we are saying for any request with the name welcome. This is the only controller, first controller, and it checks for the URL again. Okay. You see the welcome. Ah. Okay, it's it is now go to the method. We have only one method. So in the method, what I have welcome to spring. Welcome to spring MVC. That's what I have. Mm -hmm. And this message uh, after that we are doing something else. And we are we showing are that we are adding a plus equal to you yeah. did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this message is my variable. And that means this is my model. Mm -hmm. And uh, this model in view, this model in view, right? Welcome message. This is my message, actual message. And the page, to which page? That page I have to mention here. Welcome page. I am going to create it. Where am I going to create? Where am I going to create? In my sublet, I have created uh, maybe. A folder called uh, I didn't create any folder. Uh, okay, what is it called to our JSC? Okay, so I'm going to create one folder where in the web app because I would like to create keep uh, the JSP page. I would like to go in a systematic way. That's the reason what I'm going to create. I'm going to create a, as it is a JSP, create a mm -hmm. JSP file because we are telling that uh, hey, there are JSP files in this folder. Mm -hmm. So the page name I'm going to create it as what is that page? Um, JSP page and the file should be welcome page dot JSP. Are you getting me, Jyoti? Mm -hmm. Welcome page dot JSP. In the welcome page dot JSP, what am I going to do is I have to read this message. Yes. So where it is there, it is there in this message. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my view. And this is my message locally what I have and this is my model. So this is the one I have to print over there where I have to print. In my welcome page dot JSP. If I print that. So that means this message I'm going to bind it. Bind it to a model. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Yeah. 
welcome message is my parameter so i have expression language i told you expression language is something yeah, yeah. Uh, if i want to read something directly i can read it message okay what does it says that's a problem it should be message right because you're accessing the variable param dot message i was thinking sir i don't need any uh we are accessing directly mm, that's a dollar uh, we can say direct we don't need anything no why is it welcome message it should be message right just a moment i tell you you don't see me message is variable it stores a value it's a variable to your oh. class but uh, if i write it in the quotations that means it is a it is a model data model data we are binding this message oh. this message we are binding it to your model this is my this is my model data actually we will be having a classes we did not create a class but we are selling it as a model and this binded data to this model i would like to access in the page which page welcome page and that's the reason we'll say it as model and view so this will be given back to whom your dispatcher servlet where is that dispatcher servlet in the web.xml and what we will do immediately he will return okay. and look for uh, okay i have some information related to the jsp pages so if you know that page with the extension it seems it seems welcome page do you have uh, any file with that it will ask if it is there it will return that page as an output if everything goes fine it works or else we have to fix it let's see hope i have done it i think i have missed some yes run finish We are running the application, Jyoti. In India, they have removed tenth exams, right? Yeah. yeah. Cancel boards or something. All the exams, inter and inter exams. In future, there may be for B or B B Tech also. Oh, they may promote. Why it is taking too much time? It's hanging. Maybe server is not on. Don't get. No, we are directly running on the server. No, if you say run as on server, directly your server will also start. Yeah, now it started.
Security. Oh, it is running previous applications also. Yeah, it, it does for me too. How oh, we will fix this many errors, Jati? What is this? <laughs> Maybe it's just it's not able to go to the welcome page. Yeah, only welcome, only just one line answer now. So what to do now? We burn up welcome servlet. Nested exception. Okay. Welcome servlet. Did I give welcome servlet? Nested exception file not found. Well burn up welcome servlet. I have to change that. Uh, didn't I change? Given Spring MVC server, but that is what mm, I didn't change it. Come on, come on, come on. Where is that? Web product server. No. This is my controller class. In my controller class, I'm accessing the file. So, no, 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 not controller.
I don't know, can't figure that one only. Spring University, yes, I. Celebrate name Spring Embassy. Dash Solet is also there. I'm sorry? Spring MVC Dash Servlet is the name. Spring MVC Dash Servlet dot XML. I need to give that, uh, Jyoti. But I did not give anywhere that name. But uh, how come? Okay. Okay, just a minute. Let me run this once again back. Let's see. Let's see. Dispatch a little bit. Spring and we see. I can submit the maximum. Spring and we see, and we see, and we see. If I click here. I'm going to speak in the same. Oh, who's a little exception? See that name, whatever you're selling, it is finding that could not open servlet context. Why? File not found. I've changed that. Uh, still, it is saying that the Are file. Are missing any dependency? No, 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 no dependency. The file location, we have to change it. Where did I keep that file location? Where did I keep the one, that one? JSP, you're asking about the web server. No, Spring MVC, servlet. In the JSP, I guess. Web app, JSP. No, it's Where not there. Page? Where is that file? File has gone. Java, main Java. Where is that file, Jyoti? Okay, that's a thing. Sorry for that. Now we'll go. What? Web enough, we have to keep. I kept it outside the web enough. It's not able to find that. What is error? Error Press it. Remove this or delete. Now run the application and see run as. What do you think, Jyoti? This time it will run or not? Huh? I guess it should, but it was showing an error. I'm just doing up session. How come session demo I'm running, Jyoti? <laughs> oh, we are going. We, we, we have to do the. And we have created the file in there in that location. File location itself is wrong. Spring MVC server dot XML. Control X. Spring MVC Neven app is web app, web enough. Yes. You didn't see, uh, no, I didn't find it. 
Now let's see. Better. In the Java. But the URL is not going to welcome, it is going to welcome so little, right? Can you go to the HTTP status and see the URL? I'm sorry. Can you go to the HTTP status 404 not found? Oh, it is going to welcome only, okay. I was just seeing the path. That's a URL. Oh, that's a URL. It is mapping. Maybe that's the reason it requires HTML link. That's the reason he has given. URL should be a page now, Jati. Actually, that we are going to display it. Alcon dot HTML. I have given in the index dot JSP also. I need to give the same right. Yeah. Here it should be dot HTML. Yeah, here it should be dot HTML. Otherwise, it cannot go because it is a page. Correct. It's a page. There, we don't need it. That there, it can be normal. I think it will not again because I have changed it just now. Yeah, yeah, it's running. And my controller. In the my controller, I don't need to write this HTML. It's a controller that it will find only that welcome as a map. Come on. Let's see. What is this? No handler found. No handler found. No mapping. Forget. Get request. My controller. Get requested is uh, we have to type a request type, but it is stuck. I am not understanding why it is stuck.
Yes. This patch is a bit controller. It's going to the controller. And in the controller, we have written this. And the base package. It's not showing any errors. No mapping for Git. Something missed. I am is something. Mm -hmm. I'm just having that one on it. Let me check it out, Jyoti. There's no error, actually. Sometimes yeah, I, yeah. I'll try watching some YouTube videos and I'll try running this application. Oh, yeah. What was no the error. site we were working on? Java for us. Java for us, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, Jyoti. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, same time, we'll meet. Okay.